Hi, in this quick video, you are going to learn the top 11 risk factors for macular degeneration. Hi, my name is Ryan Ringgold. I'm the co-founder of Ringgold Nutritional Systems. Our company's mission is to help improve people's lives through education and nutrition. Our company was inspired back in 2006 by our father, Dr. Ringgold, who's been a leader in his field of family practice ever since graduating from the University of Michigan Medical School in 1975. So what are the top 11 risk factors for age-related macular degeneration? Number one, smoking. Smoking constricts blood vessels in the eye and can help lead to macular degeneration. So if you're a smoker, you need to stop. There's plenty of other health benefits when you quit smoking, but uh, keeping from getting age-related uh, macular degeneration or having your, per, uh, your, your eye disease worsen can definitely be helped by quitting smoking. So what are the other top 10 risk factors for age-related macular degeneration? Number one, family history. If you have a family history of age-related macular degeneration, whether a grandmother has it, an aunt or an uncle, it increases your risk of developing the eye disease. So get a family history, ask your, your, your parents, your aunts, your uncles, find out if anyone else has it in your family because it will increase your risk of developing the disease if you don't have it already. Number two, gender. Women are more likely to develop, to develop age-related macular degeneration than men, and it may have something to do with them actually having a longer life expectancy. Number three, your race. Caucasians have an increased likelihood of developing age-related macular degeneration. Four and five, exposure to the sun. Prolonged exposure to the sun actually increases your risk of de developing this eye disease. That's why it's important to have a good pair of sunglasses that you wear out in the sun, uh, something that blocks blue light. Now, there are, are also different um, uh, supplements that you can take that contain lutein and zeaxanthin, as well as plenty of foods that help protect the macula against damaging blue light, along with sunglasses and wearing a hat when you're in the sun. Diet. A diet high in fatty foods, low in green leafy vegetables, low in antioxidants is also going to increase your risk factors of developing the disease. A good diet, you can get through the proper nutrition of eating lean meats, plenty of green leafy vegetables, almonds, orange peppers, uh, also seafoods high in omega-3 fatty acids like salmon. Those are all good things to add to your diet when trying to help prevent get the disease or if you're trying to slow your progression if you're already diagnosed. Number six, obesity. Very important to have an exercise program um, in your life to help with all types of health benefits but especially to help slow the progression or prevent age-related macular degeneration. Uh, obesity increases your risk factor for developing this eye disease. Number seven, Increased blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, high blood pressure, like smoking, can increase, uh, can constrict your blood vessels, which will increase your risk of developing the disease and may progress your disease more quickly if you have it already. Number eight is your eye color. Individuals with blue eyes or lighter color eyes are at a higher risk for developing uh, age-related macular degeneration. So if you're somebody that has a light eye color, then make sure you definitely take care of all these other risk factors to help reduce your risk of developing this disease. Number nine, inactivity. Inactivity, which is related to obesity and possibly high blood pressure, uh, inactivity increases your risk for this also. You need to have some type of exercise program. Uh, talk to your physician, talk to your healthcare provider about putting you on a daily exercise uh, program. Uh, you can start with 30 minutes of walking. Uh, 30 minutes of walking four days a week is definitely something that can help your circulation, uh, lower your cholesterol, lower, uh, lower your weight, and help against plenty of other diseases, including macular degeneration. And number 10, 
If you have macular degeneration in one eye, it's very likely that you can develop in the other eye. So if you've already been diagnosed with macular degeneration, if you're having difficulty reading, if you're having difficulty driving, if you're having any difficulty uh, watching TV or recognizing faces, then you need to go to your healthcare provider, go to your ophthalmologist, your eye care specialist, and make sure you get an eye exam. Early detection is a great way to fight macular degeneration, and when you detect it early, you can actually implement all the necessary things to lower your risk as much as possible to slow the progression of macular degeneration. Right now, there's no known cure for macular degeneration. There's no known way to reverse age-related macular degeneration. The best hopes that we have, based on all the completed research, is to slow the progression once you are diagnosed with this eye disease or if you can do things to prevent it altogether. So some of the best ways to slow the progression are to make sure you have the right diet, get plenty of exercise, wear sunglasses and a hat out in the sun. In addition to that, uh, it might be a good idea to get on an ocular health supplement, something that contains uh, beta carotene and vitamin C, vitamin E, uh, zinc and copper, uh, lutein and zeaxanthin. Uh, it might be a good idea to uh, add that into your diet as well, taking a daily vitamin supplement. That's something you want to talk to your eye doctor about and see if it's something that they would recommend. Now, one alert. If you are a smoker or if you currently were a heavy smoker, you do not want to take supplements that are high in beta carotene. Actually, you should be looking for supplements that are beta carotene free. And the reason is this. There's been plenty of research studies that have shown an increase in lung cancer in people who smoke when they take high doses of beta carotene. So if you are a current smoker or you used to be a heavy smoker, definitely talk to your doctor about starting any supplement and you really wanna take something that has no beta carotene in it at all. So there's plenty of available supplements uh, online. We have a supplement uh, at our website. Uh, we have a very popular uh, product called Preserve Mac Forte. If it's something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can get more of these uh, updates and alerts. And I appreciate your time. I hope this is inform informative and we'll see you in the next video.